Welcome to Universe Mode number two, Stardust in action. But Stardust needs to prepare because I'll tell you what, we're experiencing return like no other. That's right, a part-timer coming back to the WWE, and I'm talking about this man. He is the leader of the authority. He is the number one man in all of WWE. The man aside from Vince McMahon who makes all the decisions for NXT, he is Triple H. Now, I'm gonna go into kind of a little bit of a rant here on why I think part-timers are really, really important within the, the, the landscape of world wrestling entertainment. If superstars like Triple H don't come back for big events like the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania and Survivor Series and SummerSlam, then we are, uh, you know, at a shortage of WWE talent. Now, I'm not going to be like, yo, you know, I know everything about wrestling and I'm not going to act like I do in, in any sort of capacity. But here's the thing. This is why I think that part-timers are as important as they are. Because they bring value to the product. Now, much of this can be blamed, uh, you know, on Vince McMahon who has not done a really good job on building new stars. Stars like Dean Ambrose and, and Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan, those are superstars that had a good idea of where they were going to go, the direction they, they were going to take within the company. But whether it be injuries or poor booking or just a lack of interest, I mean, Dean Ambrose was hot as hell, but his momentum was taken away when repeatedly he was going for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and now he's settling for the Intercontinental title. This is why when Triple H comes back and he involves himself in a feud with Brock Lesnar circa WrestleMania 29 or gets himself involved in a match with Sting where he inexplicably went over, I mean at least he brings value to the product as he takes Stardust here and drills him! That's right! with the pedigree. Let's take a look at that one more time. And, you know, I think it'd be a, a little bit of a surprise if Triple H participated in the Rumble because I feel that would bring a lot of value, a lot of surprise factor to the Royal Rumble match. And that's really my thoughts on the whole situation. We're two weeks away from the Royal Rumble right here on Universe Mode. And here's another return. That's right, part-timers. That's right. Y2J returned to confront the beast, and that is the in the universe mode, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar is the champion in my universe mode. I don't know if he's the champion in yours, but he's the champion in mine. Now these are all part-timers. We're talking about Triple H. We're talking about Chris Jericho, who has you know, really, really kind of told us, the fans, the audience, the WWE Universe, that he has no intention in coming back to participate, you know, on a regular basis uh, on pay-per-views or live television tapings. He wants to be involved in live events. Why? Because he says that the booking and the creative is so bad that he doesn't even want to deal with the writers. He just wants to deal with a show-to-show -show basis where he gets to just wrestle and have fun and interact with the crowd. Brock Lesnar, on the other hand, has decided to come back only to work dates in which he feels that he's going to make the most money. That's a smart way to go about it. Boom! Right through the table there. Brock Lesnar drilling Y2J Chris Jericho. But I feel, I mean, you know, if it wasn't for the Y2Js, the Brock Lesnars, the Triple H's, the Rocks, you know, I feel as if the product would go stale. These competitors and these part-timers make it a special thing when they're back. That is why when John Cena has gone away for, I don't know, four or five weeks filming American Grit. When he comes back, he's not going to be his stale self. He's going to be back, and he's going to be better than ever, and he is not going to, you know, it's, there's not going to be any feeling in which he's going to be jammed down our throats. Part-timers FTW, I'll see you next time on Peter Chow Games.